In this video, let's talk about the difference between go back and come back. This is a question I get all the time, but there's a very simple way to remember it. Of course, I'm Jennifer from j4senglish.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you sound like a fluent, confident, natural English speaker. Now, before we go any further, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new lesson. Now, let's dive in with this video. Today, let's talk about the difference between go back and come back. Both of these have the same meaning, which is to return. The difference is where are you returning to? Now, when you use go back, you can think of it as there. And when you use come back, you can think of it as here. And you need to ask yourself, Am I returning to the same spot? If your answer is yes, then you use come back. If your answer is no, then you use go back. Now, the thing you need to remember is that it's the person who's asking the question. It depends from their perspective. Where are they now? And are you coming or going to the same spot or a different spot? So keep that in mind as well in question form. It depends on where the person is. So let's look at an example. Let's say that Bob and Sally are married. Now Sally's at home. Bob is at work. So Sally's at home. That's the reference point. Now Sally calls Bob at work and she says, when are you coming back? When are you coming back? Now you have to remember that Sally is the one who's asking the question. So Sally is at home. At one point, Bob was at home. Now he's at work. So Sally's asking when he's going to return to the same spot, which is home where she is now. So you have to remember that. It's the perspective of the person asking the question. Sally's at home. She asks Bob, when are you coming back? When are you coming back home or when are you coming home? All three of those would be interchangeable. Now, let's imagine Sally's at home and Bob's at work. Now, Bob goes home for lunch. So he's only there for lunch. Remember, his starting position in this example was work, but he goes home for lunch. Now, Sally could say to Bob, when are you going back? When are you going back to work? And Bob could say, oh, in 20 minutes. Because Bob is going to leave the place where Sally is now. When are you going back? Now, Bob's at home on his lunch break. His boss is at work. His boss calls Bob and says, Bob, when are you coming back? Because remember, the boss's perspective is he's at work. Bob was at work. Bob is not at work. But the boss wants to know when is Bob going to return to the same spot, which is work. So he leaves work and he comes back. So Bob's at home, his boss calls him and says, Bob, when are you coming back? When are you coming back to work? So notice that in this case, it was always the person who was asking Bob the question and their position whether or not they use going or coming. So it might seem a little complicated, but just keep it simple. You just need to ask yourself the question, where am I now? If I'm returning to the same spot that I am now, then you use come. 
If you're returning to a different spot than you are now, you use go. So the best way to get comfortable with these is of course to practice them. So I want you to leave two examples in the comments, one with go back and one with come back. And if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and of course subscribe. Now before you go, make sure you head on over to my website, jforestenglish.com, and download your free speaking guide. In this guide, I share six tips on how to speak English fluently and confidently. And until next time, happy studying. Awesome job mastering the difference between go back and come back. I know you can do it. Just make sure you leave your example so you get really comfortable with the scenarios and figuring out where the starting position is and where the person is going. So make sure you leave your examples and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.